everyone, Mike here, and welcome to another Red's How To mod review and mod tutorial. And today we're going to be covering Ender IO. This is a very large and complex mod which adds a lot of different items, um, power sources, and grinding and alloys, along with new metals and objects. So we're going to cover it, some of the basics, uh, mostly the building objects, and I'll cover a few how to's on certain items in here. But the rest I want to leave to you guys to discover, mostly because it, it adds more to the fun of it but I'll give you the basic crafting and everything. So the first power source we're going to do is a sterling generator. And the way you make this is any type of stone brick. It could be cracked, it could be mossy, it could be chiseled, or normal stone brick, and it could be switched in and out. One furnace, uh, one piston, and two basic stone gears, which are made with sticks and cobblestone. I'll also show the recipe later on for this. It gives you the first power source. This is your baby's first power source. It burns, uh, obviously, coal and charcoal, and I think wood as well anything that makes it burns. Um, by adding upgrades into this you can um, give more both more capacity of how much it can hold power wise but also how much uh, uh, efficiency it works so more items in here burn a lot better so you have the burst basic double layer capacitor which gives you times 2 com 2.7 capacity and an octuple capacitor which is the highest capacitor you can make gives you times 5.3 uh, efficiency weight. Uh, you can also change the output with the uh, enter configure and then you can add it redstone or no redstone to turn it on and off. Next item up is the uh, combustion generator and you'll need three electric steel which I'll cover later on, uh, fuel tanks also we'll cover later on, uh, fluid tanks excuse me, uh, machine chassis, chassis again we'll cover later on, and basic gears and piston. What this does, it uses uh, f a coolant, such probably like a water, you know, and a um, fuel source. Uh, there are three fuel sources that are used in, that are been, that can be made in this pack: are hooch, uh, rocket fuel, and uh, fire water. It also will work with um, forestry and uh, build craft liquid fuels as well. Uh, check out the wiki. The wiki is actually a pretty good wiki, a decent wiki, compared to a lot of other mod packs who don't have really good wikis. And again, this is, this one is not um, upgradable, as you can see. There's no upgrade slot for it, but this um, has a different form of power. Next up on the list, and I'll actually make it day because I believe it's getting dark, so I'll click the little day button there, is a zombie generator. A zombie generator is another power source, and what you need to make that is electric steel, a zombie electrode and fused quartz glass. Um, again, this will be covered. You'll actually need a separate machine to make the zombie heads. I believe it is a slice and splice, and um, also you'll need a zombie head. Uh, this works on a feeding system, uh, nutrients, and this also makes an outport of power as well. Uh, a vat is required to make nutrients, and a vat is also required to make fire water and stuff for this. <coughs> Next up are photovoltaic cells. Um, I think they're virtually the uh, equivalent of um, a um, solar power, the third version of solar power. The recipe for this is energetic alloy, which we'll cover later, more fused quartz, silicon, which will be covered, a normal daylight sensor, and two electric steel ingots. That's just the first tier, and the second tier, which is over here, which is uh, makes us a 40 output, which will need vibrant alloy. Um, lightened fused quartz, uh, vibrant crystals, uh, pulsating iron, and another daylight sensor. So if you have the materials to make this, I'd recommend making this one because it outputs more power per tick. Next item up is no longer power. We're now getting into the base machinery is a sag mill. And a sag mill is what you'll use to break down your ores and whatnot and also make other items like silicone and other uh, I enjoy this over a lot of the other pulverizers that are out there, and I'll explain why a little later. It's also a simple recipe. It's just flint and iron ingots and a machine cassie and pistons. As you notice, I have a, when I hover over flint, it says hold shift. With Ender I.O., it adds a new thing to the flint. Uh, this is a grinding ball for the sag mill, and it'll tell, it gives you um, more. I'll get more into it when I'm going here. So you put your item in here, and it'll output. It also outputs other so if you like grind down certain items, they'll give you, you know, more base items like powders, such as you grind down iron, you may end up with like if you have a thermal expansion or tinker's construct, you might end up with um, maybe uh, nitrate or not nitrate, but a, um, 
can't think of the name. The, the item to make um, invar, uh, nickel. You might end up with nickel and stuff like that. And again, you can um, add a capacitor to this, which will make this more run efficiently, use less power, and has more power in there. But let's get back to the uh, flint. You'll put your flint here, and what you do, what the flint does, uh, let's just give me a piece of flint here. I think the flint is in here. Yeah, here we go. What well, flint will do is it will give you an, an output, a main output of 120%, but it will also give you a 125% bonus output, which means you'll get more out of it, and it reduces the power drainage. Um, you just stick that in there, and it'll eat up, and I'll tell you how much it is. One flint, I think, gives you a little bit. And you can show recipe. It gives you actually gives you the recipes. So a sag mill, you can use a quartz celeste there and give you so forth and so forth, and it tells you different things in here. As well as flint, there's also a dark steel ball, I believe it is. Um, I think it shows up in recipe. Yeah, the dark steel ball. It's a, just a better uh, version of the um, grinding ball. It's just a better version of it. It gives you more main output, but it's also more expensive to make, and I'll show you that later on down the line. The next item up on the list is an alloy smelter. You need four iron ingots, a cauldron, a machine cast chassis, and three furnaces to make one uh, smeltery. The cool thing about the smeltery is, again, it uses the RF power source, but it also gives you, th you can also place in three stacks of an item to smelt down. So if you have three stacks of gold, it'll smelt down, or gold dust, it'll smelt down all three stacks. Um, you have a furnace smelting mode for all smelting, uh, alloys only if you want to make um, ender, allo ender IO alloys, and furnace mode is only for light built to down furnaces, and then it does both. Um, this is where you'll also be making your alloys for Ender IO. You'll be putting up the recipes in here, and it'll smelt down, and then you can configure and it gives you the recipes. So, like you want to make enlightened glass, you'll need four nether quartz and four glowstone, it'll give you a piece of enlightened glass. So it gives you all the recipes there, but also cover the recipes further on down the line. Next item up on the list is the, um, the basic, I believe it's the basic, uh, the basic, a capacitor bank, or the, yeah, the basic capacitor bank, which is a battery. It holds up to a thousand, a million RF, which is pretty good for what it is. And a simple recipe, you'll need a basic capacitor, uh, iron ingots, and a block of redstone. Obviously, for some strange reason, this is not one. Of it, these tinker constructs don't always hold the items in there. Next up on the list is the um, capacitor bank, which gives you five million RF, and you'll have to use double layer capacitors and uh, the same recipe, except for the iron is replaced with steel. And the final one is the highest tier, which is a uh, fiber capacitor, and there's actually two recipes for this one. Um, let's see, the first recipe is, we'll just do it through here, is you'll use electric steel, again, and octec octactic octopus capacitors, <laughs> a vibrant crystal, and it'll make a vibrant capacitor bank one, or you can do vibrant alloys, which is actually, this one's more expensive than this one right here, but it uses less octet capacitors, which are also very expensive. So it uses two of them, another vibrant crystal, and but it uses a, the capacitor bank. So in the long run, I believe this is more cheaper than this one is, because uh, you need all this to make that and blah, blah, blah. So next up on the list is the painting machine, I believe. Yes. The painting machine, what it does is there's an actual block in here, Let's see if we can find it right here. The conduct facade. So when you have piping down, you can actually put these over the piping and you can paint them whatever you wish. Um, and this is the recipe for this is uh, nether quartz in the corners, electric steel, diamond, and machine cassie. So what you'll do is you put your facades, you put your item here that you wish to say, so I want to make paint it, um, say I wanted to paint it the um, crafting station, which you can, and you put your facades here, you obviously have power and it'll actually out turn it into something that is hideable which I think is pretty cool. Next recipe, again, it did not keep the recipe, is an auto crafting station. Let's see, painting machine, the crafter. Recipe for this is six iron ingots, uh, machine cast C, cra uh, crafting table, and a Z logic controller. Uh, Z logic controllers are made in the slice and splice, and we'll get more into that later. And what this does is, I believe, it's just an automatic crafting table. You put in a recipe here, you put your items in, and you feed your items in, and it will um, make what you need. Next up is the VAT. Again, I believe it probably didn't save it. It didn't. The VAT is uh, electric steel. It's four pieces of electric steel, a cauldron, a machine cassie, two fluid tanks, and a furnace. This is where you'll be making 
the nutrients for the power, for the zombie power, and also you'll be able to make the fire water, rocket fuel, and whatnot that's in here for the um, combustion generator. Next item up is the power monitor, and you'll need six electric steel, a energy output, a machine cast chassis, and it needs to be the energy, energy, energy conduit, I can't speak today, and a conduit probe. Um, this will show you, it's the computer source that will show you the power that's running through it and running into it. Next item up is the automatic farmer. I enjoy this, a farming station. And to make this, you'll need two electric steel, a diamond hoe, a machine cassie, another zoological controller, so you'll need another machine for that, and power, and then pulsating crystals. So some of this stuff isn't cheap, but it's also um, cost effective in the end. And this will automate all your farms. Um, so you'll have to put the tools in here, and you'll need an axe and whatnot, and it'll, you'll plant in specific um, north, east, southeast, and so forth. When you upgrade this, it will upgrade to the capacity of size of the field. The highest uh, capacity for the octuple is 15 by 15. So you can use a 15 by 15 field. And I'll show this how this runs later on down the line. I'll do an, a practical test for that one. The next item up is a wireless charger. This is a very expensive item, but this will allow you to charge up your um, tools. But if you have other mods in that lets you charge up items, such as thermal expansion, that as well will also cover it could also use as well and a more cheaper version than that as well so you'll need uh, a pants of electric steel so that's six and seven pieces of iron or electric steel excuse me uh ender resonant which you'll need a i can't believe i forgot it already you'll need a, a slice of splice and octuplet capacitor this is a very expensive uh, especially with octuplet capacitor which you can actually just plug into your machines here which is kind of a little bit better it, especially if you have the thermal expansion mod installed. Next item up on the list is the fluid tank. And fluid tank is f iron bar, four iron ingots, four iron bars, and a quite clear glass or piece of glass. Um, if you have chisel mod installed, and I think it's a more of a newer version of the chisel, you can actually make quite clear glass out of glass panes if the mod is, uh, allows it. Um, sometimes that can be implemented in via configs and can be removed depending on the person who makes the pack. Next item up on the list, again, didn't keep this damn thing. So it's a dark, it's a pressurized fluid tank and it's blast resistant, which is good. And you can use dark steel. Um, you need to use dark steel, dark s iron bars, which is made of dark steel, and also a fused quartz, which is also blast resistant as well. So that's kind of good that it's blast resistant and it protects your fluid from the nasty creepers or that rogue wither that you have running around. Next item up on the list is a reservoir and this is used for um, mostly holding water it makes an infinity water source and it produces a bucket per second and when you right click it with a wrench and it makes it a naval outport and this can be used with any type of glass, uh, quite clear glass, fused glass, normal glass, cauldron. If you want to know how to stop this from ticking around like this, hold the shift button. Um, that's the button I use. And it'll stop and pause everything in cauldron in the middle. Next item up is a vacuum chest. And exactly what it does is a chest that sucks up items. So, or you use it and it'll suck up items. So if I drop something, it'll suck it up automatically and store it in here. This would be useful if you like have a mob farm or something like that. And pulls nearby items in the inventory and it's ironing gets in the pant formation which is seven iron, a chest and a pulsating crystal, which is can be expensive. Next item up on the list is a dimensional transceiver. To make there's actually no one recipe for this. It's with four electronic steel in the corners, an ender resonator, again need the head slice and splice and heads and an ender crystal, which is covered in there. Which I also cover later. What I do with it? There it is. And octocut capacitor. What this does is it transports items, fluids, and power wirelessly across any distance between dimensions. Uh, this is Ender IO's version of the. Um, God, I can't think of its name. It's an Ender. It's a thermal expansion item. The. Um, yeah, the transposer transmogrifier. 
I can't think of the name, sorry, offhand. Yeah, if you happen to know it, leave it down in the comment below. This is an item buffer. It does what it actually it says it does. It buffets items out. And I will complete this recipe. It is just electric steel and iron ingots. So it's electric steel here, uh, kind of surrounding the chest, and iron, steel, iron ingots on the outside, iron steel, and a chest in the middle makes you an item buffer. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I will see you next time in part two. Like I said, this is a very large mod, so it's probably broken up to three to four mod, three to four parts along with it. So I hope you guys enjoy. See you next time. Bye bye.